Hi, it's Emma Nango. So I'm doing this Lady Gaga look today and this is um, a look from her The Fame Ball tour. So let me come in close so you can see the makeup. And by the way you guys, on my nails today I'm wearing this color from e.l.f. It's called Mint Cream. And I'm wearing this um, color from Tiger on top to give it that iridescent look. So yeah, that's what's on my nails. So I'm going to show you guys the costume. So this was the dress that Gaga wore during the Fame Ball tour. Um, and I really, really love it. It's so pretty and fun. But yeah, this is my recreation. I will, of course, link the um, picture that I was inspired by in the down bar. And yeah, my battery is about to die. So let me wrap this up and say, um, here comes the tutorial. Okay, so to start out, I'm going to use my Benefit Professional. And I focus this around my nose and my cheeks because this primer helps with pores and since my pores my big pores are mainly around my cheeks and around my nose that's where I focus the primer and then I just take it out and blend it out anywhere else for a foundation I'm going to use my stay matte from Rimmel and this is in the color ivory Okay, so since this look is fairly simple, I thought I would do some more intense concealer just so, you know, to have a bit of fun with it. So I'm going to use two concealers. I'm going to use my BB Cream from Born Pretty Store in the color 01. And I'm also going to use my MAC Pro Longwear Concealer in NC15. So I'm starting out with my BB Cream. So I'm using my e.l.f. Studio Concealer Brush to apply this in a triangle underneath my eye. So like that and then on the other eye as well. And I know it looks very dramatic right now, but we are going to blend it out and blend it in and it will look, you know, more natural when that's done. And I'm also going to highlight the rest of my face. So I'm highlighting my chin and right above my lips. And I'm going to highlight my nose and then I bring that up onto my forehead. So right on top of that concealer I'm going to apply my MAC Pro Longwear. So I go back with my sponge and I blend and blend and blend and blend. So after blending all that madness out, I'm going to take my Ben Nye Banana Powder and set my concealer. Okay, so for the rest of my face, I'm going to use my Born Pretty Star Powder in the color O2. And I'm going to use my Ninja or Black Diamond Kabuki Brush. So I'm just using this, um, you know, wherever I didn't apply my concealer. And of course, you don't have to do all the, con uh, I mean, highlighting I just did. Um, it's totally up to you how much you want to do. But um, now I'm going to contour. I'm going to take my New York Color Sunny Bronzer and I'm going to contour my cheekbones with my e.l.f. angled blush brush. And I'm also going to apply this around my hairline even though I am going to be wearing a wig. But um, I just feel like 
contouring a bit today. You guys can tell that I'm totally in a highlight and contouring mood right now. I'm just really loving it. And I also go along my jawline just to define my face and make it look all fierce and shit. It's such nice weather outside right now. Like the sun is shining and I'm in a really good mood. It's just so pretty outside today. So for my nose contour, I switch over to my fan brush. And I go ahead and contour this narrows. And I think I'm going to blend out the contour just a tiny bit. But you know, I still want it to be pretty intense. So Gaga was just wearing like a little tiny bit of blush. So I'm going to use Deep Throat from NARS. And definitely don't go overboard with the blush. Gaga doesn't really seem to wear much blush. Blood, 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 blood. Gaga doesn't really seem to wear much blush at all. So I'm just adding a little bit to the elbows of my cheeks. Just to give myself some color. So I'm going to move on and do my eyebrows now. So of course I'm going to start out by brushing them into place. With my spoolie from Born Pretty Store. And actually all I'm going to do today um, is to apply some tinted brow gel. This one is from Born Pretty Store. It's in the color 03. And I'm only going to use this tinted brow gel because Gaga is a blonde um, in the picture that I'm recreating. And also my wig is blonde to match Gaga. So I don't want my brows to be too harsh. So with my brows defined, I'm going to move on to my eyes. So I'm just using my sponge and whatever that's left on it to apply to my eyelids. So this is just what I'm going to use as a base today. Just because we're not really going to work with much eyeshadow. So actually all I'm going to do for eyeshadows is I'm going to take my bronzer again from New York Color. And I'm going to take my blending brush from MAC and I'm just going to blend a little bit of that into my crease. So after I have my bronzer in my crease, I'm just going to move straight on to the eyeliner. So I'm going to use my Essence Waterproof Gel Pencil Eyeliner in the color Black Blaze. So I'm going to use this to line around my eyes and also in the water lines. And I'm going to use my e.l.f. Studio Small Precision Brush to help make sure that that line gets pretty precise. And then I apply it to my waterline. And I'm going to blend that down to my lower lash line. So I'm going to do the same on the other eye. And if you fuck up like I just did over here, I made a mistake on my eyelid, then it's always handy to have a makeup remover pen. So you can just go in and remove it, yay! And then I just go over with my sponge. And then I just go back and blend out the bronzer. And then I continue on. And the reason why I'm using a pencil eyeliner instead of a liquid liner is because Gaga's eyeliner was pretty like bulky and thick. And it didn't really have any like sharp lines. And then apply some liner to the waterline. And it's important you apply quite a lot so you can smoke it down onto your lower lash line. And then I smoke it out with my brush. So then I also take my liner and I go on the top waterline. So the way I like to do this is I just like to look um, down into a mirror. And just gently apply the liner. So to make sure that the liner on the top is extra black, I'm going to go in with a liquid liner. This is from Born Pretty Store. So 
So I just go in right by the base of my lashes just to darken. So once you have all of the eyeliner on, I I am going to go in with my um, little brow comb and I'm just going to use this to get all of the eyeliner out of my eyelashes and I'm doing this because the eyeliner makes my lashes all stiff and that makes my mascara go on much more uneven but yeah that's basically it for the eyeliner so now I'm going to curl my lashes and apply some mascara and of course I'm going to use my Shu Urmura eyelash curler and my Estee Lauder mascara So I have one coat um, of mascara on both my top and bottom lashes. So you could leave it like this, but I'm going to finish off with some falsies. I'm going to use the curly lashes today. So they look like this and they are from Velour Lashes. So with both my eyelashes on, I'm going back with my um, liquid eyeliner just to go over my lash band to hide the glue. So with my eyes done, the only thing left to do is the lips. So I'm just going to grab a napkin and just remove the foundation from my lips. So with that done, I'm going to take this uh, lip pencil from Wet n Wild. This is the color icon lip liner in the color of Willow. So it's just kind of a natural color. So I'm going to use this to outline my lips. And I just blend it out with my finger. So for lipstick, I'm going to use Viva Glam Gaga 2. It's just kind of a brownie nude color. And I think that's pretty much the finished look. So I'm going to go ahead and put my wig on and I will be right back. So this is the final look. So I just cut my long blonde wig into this short bob. And I know it's not very nicely cut. But I just wanted to give you guys kind of the idea because in the picture that I'm recreating Gaga do have um, a short blonde bob hairstyle and I must say I really am digging the short hairstyle on myself. I kind of feel like going and getting my hair cut into a bob like this and then dyeing my hair completely platinum blonde. Um, <laughs> I really love this hairstyle. I think it's so cute and I have some um, long hairs right here so I'm just going to cut those off but yeah anyways so if you like this whole makeup and transformation kind of tutorial then please thumbs up this video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and thank you guys so much for watching I will see you in my next video so take care and bye bye